Hi, I'm Justin, and today I'm going to show you how I took this old TV cabinet and turned it into this bar cabinet. <laughs> So like I said, this was an old TV cabinet. We were using it for storage recently, uh, so we cleared it all out and emptied off the shelves. I plan to reuse them later. I had an old chandelier lying around because we replaced it a couple of months ago, but I didn't feel like getting rid of it because I thought I could make something with it. And I really wanted to reuse a couple of pieces in here as the lighting for the cabinet. The chandelier originally had five lights on it, but I only needed two, but having the extra did come in handy later when I screwed it up the first time around. So I started off by cutting off two lights and then sanding them all down so that I could paint them the color I wanted to fit the kind of theme we were going for in the whole cabinet. My plan for mounting these onto the cabinet, I was going to use a half inch electrical box that I found. It was made for ceiling fans, but I thought it'd work great if I could paint it up and uh, epoxy the lamp heads onto it. I tried that and unfortunately it didn't work out so well and they right off. Luckily I had three extra lights hanging around. So I repeated the process, but this time I cut the ends of the lights into four little pieces that I can bend back and secure against those metal plates. And then I used JB Weld to secure that <laughs> indefinitely. Those things aren't going anywhere. Next feature that I wanted in the cabinet to kind of fit our 1920s speakeasy type theme was a rustic mirror that looked like it was 100 years old. So luckily, went over to the local Goodwill and I found a mirror that was on sale. It was only six bucks and it kind of fit perfectly to where I was wanting to put it. And when I opened it up, the mirror itself was actually about 60 years old. So I thought that was pretty cool. To achieve the rusted, old, 100 year old antique mirror look, First, you need to strip off the paint on the back. So that gray paint that is on there had to come off and expose the mirror surface uh, from the back side. So I started off by using a paint remover. This is an orange scented one that I found at Home Depot. It was really nice because it wasn't all toxic chemical smell that I'm used to with any kind of heavy paint stripper or uh, any kind of harsh chemical. So I put a good thick layer of that on and let it sit for about 30 minutes. Well. I got a little excited because it started peeling off of the paintbrush, but after 30 minutes, it looked great. Like I said, it came off really nice. It just did take quite a while and quite a few paper towels to get it all off. Once I cleaned up all of the paint residue off of the back, it was time to apply the antiquing solution. So this solution is made up of three parts water and one part bleach. And what it does is it eats away at that glaze on the back, that coating that makes a mirror a mirror. And once that's gone, all you have left is glass. So if you use a spray bottle, it leaves little droplets here and there, making it look like rust of an old 100 year old mirror and it looks really cool if you look through the bottom you can see where the bleach has started to eat away the glaze on the back and i repeated this process several times until i was happy with how the mirror looked on the front you could do it as much as you want just take your time because uh, you can always take away a bit more but you can't put any back the next step is to repaint the back. So I went over the back of the mirror with a bronze goldish kind of color to represent the rust. And I followed that up with a can of black spray paint. And this will just prevent any light from the back seeping through and going through the front of the mirror. So I was having trouble figuring out how I was going to mount the mirror on the back of the cabinet. So I ended up just reusing the mirror, just painted it black to give it a little bit of an update and to match the rest of the decor. And the last step to get the background ready for what I want the cabinet to look like in the end is to stain some scrap wood. So this whole project was based off of just trying to use up materials that I already had on hand. So this was a lot of scraps left over from other projects. I stained it with a stain that I had laying around that it was closest to the cabinet's existing wood. And this was going to provide the backboard slats to give it that old uh, world look. 
I measured and cut the pieces down to side to fit on either side of the mirror on the back of the cabinet. To secure the mirror to the back of the cabinet, I just screwed screws into the back of the cabinet and into the back of the mirror so that it, no screw heads were showing in the front. And then for the boards, I just used a bit of liquid nail and my brad nailer to hold them up. I did put some support boards in the back because the board that came in the back of the cabinet was only about a quarter inch thick and it wasn't very strong. So I put a couple of support boards in the back there to nail into and make sure that those boards weren't going anywhere. Now that the backing was complete, I could finally install the lights that I worked so hard on. I just reused the lamp wire that was already in the chandelier to connect those together. And then I ran a power cord down to an outlet below. Next was installing the wine racks. I didn't actually make these myself. I found them pretty cheap at Ikea. We just ended up staining them the same stain as we all the rest of the wood in the cabinet. And they ended up looking perfect in there. I did have to modify them a bit to fit the space. Uh, but once they were in, they looked great. I did also purchase this under cabinet lighting for in there because I really wanted to brighten the space because it was so dark. It only has an opening from one side and I think it really does add to the end aesthetic. And of course the last step was filling the bar up. <laughs> I think this is the most wine bottles we've ever had in this house. Normally if there's a bottle of wine, we end up drinking it. I've had this project on my mind for a little while and I'm glad I finally put in the work to do it. This was a cabinet just holding junk that we didn't want laying around the house. And so I'm glad we finally cleaned it up and now it has a purpose in the living room. <laughs> it's really fun to have guests over and show them the new bar. And uh, I hope it inspires you to try to upcycle something in your house. <laughs> well, till next time, I hope you enjoy. <laughs>